Hello everyone. Uh, I just have a short test me that I'd like to share with, with you. Um, it is about something that really moved me. Um, we recently moved to a new house that has two avocado pear trees in the garden. And sadly the avos have been harvested to the point where they are where there are only a few at the very top of the tree which we can't reach. So every now and again an ever ripens to the point where it falls to the soft ground under the tree, but on its way down. Um, the, uh, the branch, it hits the branches and it gets bruised and split and, and some of them are quite badly damaged. But if, and if left lying on the soil, the, the cracks and the, the damage causes all sorts of insects and organisms to, to get easy access to the flesh, of course they rot. And at first my husband and I disregarded those damaged ones as we saw them as lost causes. And then one day my dear husband brought in an adder which was badly stung and split and to my dismay taped it up with insulation tape. Of course he saw the potential um, or that perhaps he could save this one. I must admit I didn't hold up much hope but each morning I would feel it faithfully um, to see if it was a little ripe and of course one day it was ready. Of course I just still didn't hold up much hope as I unwound about a meter of red insulation tape but as I cut it open I was greeted with the most perfect flesh and even the pip was perfect. Naturally I had to cut away the 5% odd um, portion of discoloured flesh with the, the flesh where the, the fruit had split um, but we got to enjoy the remaining 95 to our absolute delight. We were so excited after that that we picked up almost every avocado pear no matter how badly stung or bruised it was and surprisingly we managed to rescue and enjoy quite a few of them that way. But it got me to thinking about people who've really been stung by life and by circumstances and are bruised and cracked and when we look at their brokenness we perceive them to be lost causes and we disregard them as useless and unimportant. But God sees our potential no matter how bruised and broken and stung we are. He never disregards any broken person as a lost cause. And there's an old saying which says, every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. So we should not disregard people because of their brokenness. I'm reminded of what King David said in Psalm 34 verse 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And in Psalm 147 we see God's nature revealed in verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He sees what we don't see. He sees our future. He sees our purpose, our potential impact. Verse 5 says, Greatly is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. You see, with our perspective, we see with natural eyes. And we see the brokenness and the imperfections in people. But from God's perspective, He sees with spiritual eyes. He sees the inner perfection, our inner beauty our potential, no matter how big or no matter how small, no matter how broken or crushed we are, God meets us in all of our perfection. I trust that this test me is meaningful to you. God bless and thanks for listening.